Hey everyone, it's Rad, and I want to thank Keen for they are the sponsor of this video. And don't skip ahead, for I do have a special and exciting announcement to uh, make, including a very, very special gift for anyone who is watching, which I will get to it a uh, soon. For those who doesn't know Keen, this amazing website provides you with an access to a vetted psychics, spiritual advisors who can provide a guidance and insight in into life's challenges, into clarity in love, into relationships, and as well into career and, and many, many more. And Keen, it is a one of the most uh, affordable way to get an instant psychic reading with a professional at any time, 24 seven. What I love about Keen is that it is perfect for anyone who wants to talk with someone right away, anytime, anywhere there is no wait and it is excellent if you do have a burning question that literally needs an answer right now and it is double perfect for if you are on a budget too and here is where my gift for you guys is coming in for anybody who wants to talk with advisor on keen just click my link in the description down below and you get a 10 minutes for just only two dollars and just see for yourself for i do support keen and i have been around the block a lot when it comes to um psychics readers and especially prophets and i can tell you that there are those who are false but uh judging by the way keen found me i can tell you that they are venting their uh advisors uh, very carefully and you i do encourage you to try it out especially if you do have questions that i cannot answer like for example about health like for example about a reallocation because Saro is just not designed for that uh, for example as well yes or no questions as well guys it's only two dollars for 10 minutes and i cannot think of a better way to try it out and uh, get the clarity you seek so there are a uh, tarot readers, psychic readers, uh, love and relationship advisors, and as well spiritual advisors there. Uh, and you can take your time to make a selection of the reader of your choice, establish a bond, which is going to establish as well a goal, be it a uh, intention setting, be it a, a chakra clearing, be it healing, manifesting, and many, many more. And what is also amazing there is that Keen provides every customer of theirs with a monthly discount, which is a um, clearly a way to show you that they do appreciate you being there and it also provides you with a way to afford multiple readings should you need so the signing up process very simple i'm going to show you how all that you have to do is just watch my screen very few simple clicks for their website it is made intuitively and it's just you cannot get it wrong and just in these few simple clicks you are get yourself ready to make your selection of uh, readers and dive into your spiritual journey right away so to use my gift just click in the link in the description box and get your 10 minutes with a keen advisor of your choosing for just only two us dollars and and see for yourself how amazing they really are with the variety of their uh, advisors and as well the prices which have a ton of variety too should you be on a budget thank you keen for sponsoring this video all right, Taurus, so this is going to be uh, your monthly reading, guys, for the month of April. And uh, if you do enjoy the content here on the channel and uh, you do wish uh, to support us, just leave a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you do not miss any of our uploads. Uh, and as well, live streams. All right, so nice shuffled, and let's check it out what you do have for the month. Oh my god, so the first card uh, that will be the uh, Weho of uh, Fortune, followed by the second one here with uh, the uh, Knights of Cups, uh, the third one that is going to be the Hierophant, all right, the, the Hermit, I'm sorry. Hierophant Hermit, uh, the Hermit, and uh, the final card uh, for you, Taurus, uh, that will be, that. this is the final prime card for you, uh, that is going to be the um, five, of, uh, five of Swords, 
Uh, the additional cards that we do have, that is going to be the Ace of Swords, uh, Temperance uh, that we do have here to the Knight of Cups. Uh, then here's the Three of Swords. That is actually a very, very good... Uh, <clears throat> A very very good combo that we do have here from this combo alone i can tell you that that month is going to be about a i don't know if that is how you this is the way how you have to describe it but karma repayment and i mean a goodness where you did good and is going to be repaid back to you with interest hopefully and uh, the final one oh my god that is going to be the tower uh, that changes up a little bit the interpretation of the five of swords what we have at the end here it is a crisis management where you will do really well into managing some kind of a crisis that is going to happen mainly not to you but to some but to for example the business that you are working for so that is going to be a crisis that does not uh, relates to you directly but it is something that is going to have more or less some kind of an impact to uh to your life nonetheless this is going to be a lucky month for you uh, definitely especially by the look of these two cards here the wheel of fortune and uh, the ace of swords those two cards are speaking about the opportunity that comes your way actually you're going to find out about it okay it's not exactly coming your way it's not a gift it's not going to be through random circumstances it's just one one day you are going to look around you whether in career or whether in relationship and you are going to say to yourself oh my god i can do it okay i i can I can go for it and uh, this opportunity is going to be huge okay it's it's going to be an opportunity that uh, is going to allow you to make a once in a lifetime change into your life literally to turn your life around if that is what you need and why that's the case because somewhere along the month here as this is the topic of your month somewhere along the month you will be able to scale up the situation into your business life and into your romantic life to a hundred percent it is just it will be crystal clear to you what is going on around where is heading and what you can do in order to get the upper hand and not just only on the upper hand but to end up on top of it okay and that way uh, you will show a spiritual strength to act in need although in need it is not exactly the expression to act when it is needed so to speak in order to do it to 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 get the upper hand and to end up on top of it whether on top of your love and, and we're talking here for the grand scheme of things to end up on top of your love life or to end up on top of your uh, business life okay to end up on top of your career so to speak but we do have a minor problem here okay and this minor problem resides into the uh, knight of cups with the temperance card now but on their own they are a really positive cards but unfortunately they are enemies we do have water and we do have fire and what does fire to water it vaporizes it right so uh, we have a daydreamer here and they are sitting in a position that it is uh, what holds you back, okay? Uh, this is a position showing things or behaviors that are going to slow down your progress if not extinguish it right away. And we do have a daydreamer. Now, I do feel pity for these people and that is because they are really genuine, okay? They do not lie. It is just when they promise something or when they say something they really wish it from the bottom of their heart problem is that they don't they just don't know how to get there okay uh just the trivial example to that it is that you are dating somebody and uh it's they, they love you very much you love them very much and they kind of like tell you we are gonna get married and they are ma making all these promises but their environment right now, it is an environment that the least possible there is getting married or living together, you know, or, or doing things that they're promising. 
And the thing is that they are doing it in such a way that it kind of like uplifts our spirit and it puts us in a state of expectation and the thing never comes around, okay? There is always something happening at the end of the day that obstructs their promise to become true. And it is not like they are lying to us, it is just they can't do it, but they are very generous in, generous in words and in promising one thing or another all the time. So the way how uh, we can overcome such a person, how you Taurus can overcome such a person, it's just having no expectations whatsoever. Okay, very important. This month it is a month you rely on yourself and on your own unique opportunities, not opportunities presented to you but by somebody else. That truly is gonna slow you down, not hold you back, but rather slow you down because although these opportunities, once again, they are true and they can happen, they're not gonna happen immediately or in the time frame that person is promising that this is going to happen. And also, that is somebody who finds it very, very difficult to act on something, okay? For example, they tell you, I'm going to do it, but they are not doing it when they are supposed to do it, okay? So, do not have expectation from other people, unless, of course, you do have a full, uh, not respect, but uh, trust in them, and they are proven into that, okay? But it's it, just people are going to find it very, very difficult to act upon their words and their wishes towards you throughout the month itself due to exterior circumstances. Uh, and uh, however, what is going to help you here, it is the opportunity itself. It is just these cards, uh, what they are showing here, the Hermit and the Three of Swords. It is that this opportunity we have with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Swords that you are going to seize by yourself. You're going to see it by yourself. You're going to seize it. It is exactly what you need because it's going to happen to be something a very substantial and essential. And the beauty of it, it is that despite previous failures because you had similar situations before by the look of these cards you I, I, let, let's say you have not necessarily failed but the result was quite underwhelming okay at that point despite that here you throughout the month you also are going to address this new opportunity uh, with a intelligence and wisdom you're not going to allow your emotions to beguile you into things like with the knights of uh, on the Knights of Cups, where you are promised something beautiful, something great, and you are emotionally uplifted by it, and it never comes about. No, you are going to maintain your mental sobriety, which is which is literally great, because what this is going to allow you to do, Taurus, is to uh, ultimately, at the end of the day, move or start moving toward a direction in your life that will uh, provide you with a substantial, tangible result, whether in love life or whether in career. So how this translates into a material world? Well, it is very simple. According to these two cards here, you are about to meet either the job for your recent future. I don't want to say for your life, but it could be the job of your life for at least the near future. Okay. And despite that you may have other propositions that are hanging in there, literally hanging in there, lingering, it will be best to take what you know it's tangible and what is substantial substantial rather than of a hope that you are to be gifted something. Same thing in terms of a relationship. You may meet or you are about to meet the woman or the man for your near future. Okay, and despite that, that may it, it, it may be reminiscent to some kind of a failed relationship recently or, or back in the days, and despite that you may have other suitors who are promising you constantly stuff, but they never act upon these stuff, it will be best to take this new opportunity because it will happen to be very substantial and essential for the improvement of your love life moving forward, and it will allow you to heal from negative thoughts that are at that point twist and tangling through your mind for to a certain extent and in this particular field you are finding yourself a quite lost 
And it's uh, to be honest, uh, it's not an opportunity that uh, anyone from you or from us, if any one of us has it, should be missed because by definition, these opportunities come only once in a lifetime. I mean, you can have better or worse than this one in the future, but as such, you are never going to have a such one again. And uh, the result of all that here by the end of the month is going to be, like I said, a crisis. But this is a crisis that this opportunity is going to uh, impact upon the current stage of your life. Now, uh, it's quite difficult to describe, but... Um, Take it that way, say you start dating a new person, whether a woman or a man, and that person for one or another reason is going to impact your current life that you had it prior to this date in one way or another, which happens to be a crisis. It could be a small one, but it happens to be a crisis. But these two cards are showing that you will know exactly how to handle it, okay? With the Five of Swords and the Tower, these cards support each other, and the Five of Swords here actually plays the role of where you know the extent of your capabilities and you know how to interact and how to uh, influence uh, outer was the word that I was searching for. You will know how to alter exactly things which are deteriorating and you will know how to alter things that are improving in one way or another. So the result of all that is going to be that you will be able to sustain the important stuff in your life by the end of the day and also improve upon the growing things there will be a price which is suggested by the five of swords which is going to be different for all of you for some it's going to be money for others it will be a bit stressful okay for third it's going to be something else like for example they will have to relinquish friendship here because with the five of swords we do also sometimes have the problem of understanding that you are placing your trust into people that they do not deserve it guess what we do have that one here okay and it may pain you but you may understand that you have to relinquish friendship here but nonetheless uh, as a result of all that you will find yourself a much much stronger at the end of april by when you start it not just because you're going to have something to rely on as that great opportunity coming your way but also that you are to surround yourself the very least with only people that deserve your attention, that deserve your friendship, that do deserve your trust. And so with that said, this is uh, the uh, monthly tarot reading for you, Taurus. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys. And uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.